010 Configuring SSH on ESX Server for Root Access If you'd like to be able to access remotely ESX Server using root account, which is not recommended practice, should you edit sshd config file located in slash etc slash ssh directory, this is due to the fact that by default, the service console no longer allows the root account to log in using an SSH client. To do that, we need to use a directly attached keyboard and monitor. Type in at the console nano slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. And we're going to want to scroll down. We can use the down arrow or the page down button. I'm going to hit the page down button. And notice here it says permit root login. And it says no. We're going to want to change this to yes. And again, this does open up a security hole, so please do not use in production environment. Permit root login no should be changed to permit root login yes. Restart the SSH service with the following command. Service. sshd restart. Now remember, once you're done with SSH and copying your files over, you'll want to probably disallow that root user SSH permission and you just go back the way we permitted it. You just put no in there and restart your SSHD and then the root user won't be able to SSH into it. Most likely, you'll want to set up a new user and allow that user SSH permission and you don't want that user to be the root user because the root user can do anything on that server. So you want to limit the permissions and then normally you run the SU command in order to execute commands that require higher privilege.